Sure. And like, is this your first New York Comic Con? Yes, it's my first New York Comic Con, but I've been to a couple of the, uh, San Diego. Um, I haven't, like, you know, I've never done anything like that, so this is really exciting for me. Um, but I love Comic Con. I think it's amazing. I think, I think these, the passion, like, you know, I, they're just, it's like, it's just, everyone's an artist, everyone's passionate about something, everyone's excited, they have their energy in something. Instead of just sitting in this day and age, it's so easy to just sit around on your computer and watch TV and not do anything. And they wake up at four in the morning and put all this makeup on and all this stuff and all these costumes and make them. So it's amazing. I love it. I really, really do. So if you came in costume, would you dress up? I'm saying this, I have not, I don't have a good answer. I keep saying, uh, literally, I keep saying the only best thing in the world, which is, and it makes zero sense, it's a Spice Girl. I don't know why. I, I just, I have like a really, I have a fit, I really love Spice Girls. Does that make any sense? Zero. But, why not? Yeah? Okay, that's Spice Girls. <laughs> there are people that are dressed as things that someone else is going to recognize. I, I saw yeah. someone with like a very bizarre, like, you were like, you were really confused about it, but I liked it. I thought it was very creative. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a Thank you. 
so great, the outcome is so great that I don't really, I don't have to worry about the rest of it. It's completely out of my hands. It's kind of, a, it's like, in a, in a, in a almost spiritual sense, you have to let go. Of it.